The Dead Knight is a strength and intelligence hybrid build which can harness the power of Ghost Flame in order to deal massive damage. He's also capable of summoning the spirits of the dead to deal with enemies when his sword is not enough. Without further delay, let's start with the stats. 50 Vigor will give us a great amount of HP, 21 Endurance in combination with the Talisman Earth Refavor plus 2 will allow us to midroll, 37 Strength and 53 Intelligence will give our weapons and spells good damage, while 14 Fate is the minimum needed to use the Rancor Cold spell. We need no points into Mind, Dexterity and Arcane for this build. The main weapon we use is the Hellfans Steeple. It has split physical and magic damage and C scaling in strength, E in dexterity and B in intelligence, so by having a lot of points into these stats we will deal great damage. When fully buffed by the flask, exalted flesh and the weapon's skill, we reach 1178 AR. Speaking of the skill, Ruino's Ghost Flame engulfs the weapon in death magic, which adds 110 magic damage and 80 frostbite buildup to your attacks for 60 seconds. The motion which buffs the greatsword acts as an attack, so if you hit somebody while using it, you deal about as much damage as a heavy attack. For casting, we will use the Lusat Staff. It has S scaling in intelligence, so when buffed by the flask, we reach 329 sorcery scaling. The 50% extra FP cost is not an issue, because the spell is very cheap anyway. The headpiece I picked is the Royal Remains Helm, which restores 2 HP per second while we are under 18% HP. The rest of the set is completed by the Knight's Cavalry pieces. The whole set takes us to 52 poise, which is enough to withstand a light attack without getting staggered. I picked the pieces because they give us the Dead Knight vibe, which I think I nailed pretty well, right? Let me know in the comments if you know other armor pieces with a similar look. Magic Scorpion Charm will raise our magic damage by 12% while receiving 10% more physical damage. This can be countered by the Dragon Crest Great Shield Talisman which reduces the physical damage we receive by 20%. Earthly Favor plus 2 is very important because without it we wouldn't be able to midroll. It raises our max HP by 4%, stamina by 9.6% and equip load by 8%. The last talisman can be anything you want. Graven Mass Talisman will raise the power of Rancor Call by 8%, or talismans like Star Scorch or Stargazer Heirloom will raise your strength or intelligence by 5 points, so you'll dish out more damage. I found myself jump attacking quite often with this build, so I ended up using the Claw Talisman, which makes us deal 15% more damage with jump attacks. The only spell we use is Rancor Call. It has long range, great tracking and it deals decent damage. I love to use it as an opener against far away bosses or vulnerable bosses who cannot stop me from spamming it. We can also cast it while riding torrent, so it's a great tool for the rare times when we don't want to go into melee combat. The spirit ash for this build are the archer ashes. I cannot express in words how well they fit this build. They don't have a lot of HP and are not great damage dealers, but each of them fires spirit flame arrows which helps us apply frostbite easier with our weapon. So as long as we keep the aggro onto ourselves, they will offer us great support. In the Flask of Wondrous Physique, I use the Magic tier for 20% bonus magic damage for 3 minutes. The other tier is either the Strength or Intelligence Knot tier for 10 bonus points into one of these stats. If you face an enemy with high magic resistance, like Renala, use the Strength tier for more physical damage. Otherwise, I recommend using the Intelligence tier at all times, because the spell also benefits from this bonus. Boiled Crab reduces the physical damage we receive by 20% for a minute. It's my favorite consumable when facing bosses with high physical damage, like Fire Giant, Godskin Duo, Maliket, Godfrey, Radagon, basically almost all endgame bosses. Exalted Flesh raises our physical damage by 20% for 30 seconds. It's great to use against opponents with low or no physical damage, like Renala, Gideon and Elden Beast. Going to 25 Fate will allow you to use the Ancient Death Rancor instead of Rancor Call for ranged damage. You can also use Golden Vow now, which will increase your damage dealt by 15% while receiving 10% less damage from all sources. You can use any Sacred Seal for casting it. Going to 54 strength and 63 intelligence will greatly improve our melee and spell damage. I suggest equipping the Prince of Death staff to boost the power of the dead sorceries by 10% when casting. At this point, 
you can replace the Claw Talisman with Graven Mass Talisman for 8% more spell damage. On top of that, you can use Terra Magica when casting for 35% more magic damage. The remaining points can be spread between Endurance, so we can midroll after equipping the Seal and Staff, and Mind, so we can spam Ancient Death Rancor for about 4 times until we run out of FP. Make sure you check out the Gravekeeper build to see the Ultimate Dead Sorcerer or the fan favorite Gravity Builds series.